Hi guys, so I just recently reached 100 subs, and by recently I mean about a month and a half ago. Hmm, yeah, has been a few weeks since my last... oh. So anyway, I think it's time that I updated everyone with what I've been doing over the past few weeks. Well, what you're looking at is my most recent project, an RPG prototype based on Skyrim. As usual, everything you see here is either stock cryogen assets or stuff I've made myself personally, like these houses. My goal with this prototype was to, for the lack of a better term, mimic some of the sandbox and quest elements of Skyrim. If I'm good at what I do, you might be noticing right around now that this village bears some resemblance to Riverwood. One of the things I tried to mimic was Skyrim's radiant AI. Don't ask me why they call it that, I googled the definition of radiant, and last time I checked Heimskir wasn't emitting light, rads, or heat like a fucking star. I digress. As you can see, I'm able to change the time of day with a white screen like Skyrim. When it gets dark, most of the workers in town will head over to the inn for some refreshments after a long day of work. The NPCs will wander around the inn, they don't actually do anything, but that's because I don't have the skills needed to actually animate them doing things like drinking and talking to each other. That and CryEngine's AI system through Flowgraph is kind of rubbish. Anyway, you can actually interact with most of these guys. You can just go up to them and press F and it brings up a dialogue menu like Skyrim. You can use the arrow keys, enter and tab to control their interface. Right now, I'm renting a room that does nothing with money that doesn't exist, in case you haven't noticed this prototype isn't exactly feature complete. So, how does this all work then? It was all made with CryEngine's Flowgraph system, which for the uninitiated is basically a coding system for developers who don't actually know how to code, like me. So, what are my plans for this prototype? Well, unless you're someone who clicks on videos without looking at the title, you know what I'm going to do with it. Let me explain why first. CryEngine, in my opinion, is dying. It was once one of the best engines you could use for free only a few years ago, and in that time it has devolved into an incredibly unstable engine. CryEngine 5 came out over a year ago now, and since then we've had three major updates to the engine, all three of which broke some aspect of the engine for me. And their hotfixes, if you can call them that, take months to come out, not to mention the constant crashing I get seemingly for no reason. So now I'm going to give Unreal a go. I've already started learning the engine over the past few weeks, and I'm planning to make a similar prototype to this and that engine. I've already started making a terrain in World Machine, but I'll show you more of that in another video. So because I'm abandoning the engine and everything I was working on here, I'm faced with a predicament. I can either shelf this prototype, my Battlefield clone, and my fantasy open world to never be seen again, or I can put them up for download as they currently exist. Well, I flipped a coin, and then I decided making decisions based on coin flips is childish and irresponsible, so I decided to put all my stuff up for download. None of them are fully functional by any means, but I want to put them out there anyway. Maybe someone will have fun with them or learn from them, I don't know. But I know if I was just starting out, I would love someone to put their projects out like this. To actually use them, you'll need to install CryEngine. I'll put a link in the description to that, as well as the link to each project. Installing the projects should simply be a matter of pasting the files into a project folder, but if you have trouble, comment on this video and I'll help you out. I guess I should also quickly explain what the deal with the fantasy world is. Last February, I was brought on to work for this guy who wanted to make a game. He said he would pay me and that we're making a remake of Final Fantasy VI, a game he didn't have the rights to. He never paid me and I left the project, but I still had the world that I made, so I changed it and I kept working on it. The problem was I had no idea what to do with it. 
I had no lore for this world, no quests in mind, but I kept making backstories for these areas and that kept me interested. Until a few weeks ago, I finally came up with an idea for a fantasy RPG, with lore and a rough story. The problem was the world required very specific landmarks that I knew I couldn't just add to this world. So, this world unfortunately isn't useful to me anymore, but it's had a good run. I've worked on it for over a year on and off, it would be a waste to just throw it away, which is why I'm putting this world up for download. So yeah, that's it for this video. This was my first video that I've actually taken seriously enough to put a commentary over. I even wrote a script and everything for it, which is something I've never done before, as you can clearly tell from this abrupt ending.